Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Planet Marie, um, coming to you on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, I've been a little under the weather, that's why this video has taken a while to come out. I am definitely behind my timeline here. I wanted this out on Friday, but um, I've been a little, yeah, not well. But I'm feeling somewhat better, so um, we're going to go through um, our dish. Th and thank you all for being so patient and for tuning in. We're going to go through the rest of the um, silver and gold, and I've made up a another um, set of earring bags for you guys. Okay, so we'll go through our pieces first, and we'll do our usual routine here with our numbers. And let's just start, let's get right into it. We have a nice uh, <clears throat> wrapped faux pearl on a snake chain. A nice long extension here. I don't see any, uh, any brand. Let me just check everything. It's not magnetic, oh, that part is. All right, let me give you guys a measure. Let's check it out, too. Don't mind me if I'm a little not on top of my A game here. Um, here, it's what it looks like. And let me give you a measurement on this. Ah, that's what I didn't bring. I'll be right back. My handy-dandy measuring tool. 14, almost 15 inch drop, plus another four inches here. So another three. So plenty of length there. All right, and we'll do this for five. Very nice necklace, perfect condition, shiny. There's no tarnish. It looks new. Oh, bag number one, Farala. <sighs> Hope everybody's been well. Thanks for being so patient. We have so much to do. I have to finish this. We have earring bags. I have a new bag to get into that I've been just chomping at the bit to get into, but that had to be delayed a couple of days. All right, so we have this silver tone, somewhat thick, snake chain with these tassels i don't know if this is fixed here or if it slides yeah this is fixed in place so let's put this on to get an idea <clears throat> excuse me of um how it looks on so this is the situation this is a fixed piece kind of like a lariat look and you have your two tassels and then a lengthy chain and this is charming Charlie so a little familiar little familiar face there charming Charlie let me get the um, drop on this there's a little bit I just noticed there's a little bit of wear right here tarnish um, where you can see underneath the silver okay otherwise it looks good. Well, actually, if you do it this way as the front, you don't have that. But still, just wanted to point that out. Looks pretty good. The chain's not perfect. As you can see, it's not perfect. But it's still definitely a cool necklace and very wearable. The drop is 16. And then you have another three inch, and we'll do this for four dollars. Charming chuckaroonie for four buckaroonies. Cool, it's kind of cool. These tassels. Oh, look. Little caps. I don't know if these. Let me just push them on, I guess. Yeah, once they hang, they stay down. All right. Maybe not. I don't know. Should these be fixed? Shouldn't this be, like, fixed on there? I don't know. I guess when it hangs, it'll stay. 
Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Four buckaroonies. Very nice. Kind of uh, a little on the chunky side. <clears throat> Alright, next up we have a square box chain station necklace. I don't see a name on it. It is like a matted silver. It's not shiny. Let me see if there's a front and a back to these guys. They're pretty much the same same front and back. All right, so it's a little station necklace with these little beaded guys. They're plastic. Let's see if there's, what was it, a lobster clasp closure and no extension. So I imagine you can do this uh, like a little layering with this or wear by itself, but definitely not enough to go around twice, I don't think. Uh, it's a 15 inch drop. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to wear it at the base of your your neck. It could be a um, it could be wrapped twice. All right, we'll do this for three dollars. Number three for three. All right, number three for three dollars. Pull some more out. Have here uh, crafting <laughs> just rings so we do have our craft bag going I'll put that in there all right we have a little um, silver tone bracelet with a little tassel not movable just a little tassel pendant and it has um, the extension just a bar looks pretty good just polish it up a little bit yeah she's shiny nice and shiny let's get a measure it's on the shortest I believe yeah so we have a little over seven inch <clears throat> bracelet and then you have an additional inch and three quarters so seven to eight and three quarter inch and we'll do that for um three dollars next up we have this little wavy link Uh, necklace it looks like that little tiny stones little faceted bicones clear lobster clasp closure I don't see a brand it's in good shape Get a measure on her. Cute. It's a short one, like a little below the collarbone, maybe. Eight inch. Yeah, not that short. Oh, yeah, 16 inch necklace. It's pretty. We'll do three bucks on that as well. Number five, three buckaroonies. Oh, my goodness. I feel like it's been days since I've done a video, and it has been. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad to be back. And I did not like being away for four days, five days, six days almost. I think my last video was Monday, and today is Sunday. <laughs> that is not good. But I um, 
have been so looking forward to the next bag. All right, so this is a um, bunch of layers, you guys. I mean, I'm not going to untangle it at the moment. It has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like 10 or 11 strands. And these little um, rhinestone or faux rhinestones. And let me just try to fix it a little bit. All right. You get the picture. All right, we're going to do this for $5. It's very nice. It just has to be, um, you know, fashioned out a little bit there with the strands. Let me give you a drop on this. Eight inch at its shortest, and then it has... The extension and it would be about nine inch so eight to nine inch drop or so all right we'll do this for five dollars it is piece number six and we'll do this for five All right, next we have some <clears throat> little little heart with little silver tone heart with little gold tone baby's feet. Let me see. It looks like it says something. So special, so loved. Let's see if there's a brand. I don't see a brand, but it looks like a nice quality. The bail looks nice. Uh, it's on a delicate, somewhat delicate chain. Lobster clasp. Extension. Four dollars. Good shape. No issues. Nine inch drop, and then you get another two inches. Number seven, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> for four dollars. All right, next we have some little, I'm not sure what these are, <clears throat> but we've had a few of these in this lot where these little, um, it looks like a pendant. I guess it has a hole there for the um, chain. And then they open up. I am not sure um, if something goes in here. It opens up. I don't know if you put a little bead in there or what. I have no clue. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put it in the craft bag, okay? Into the craft bag. All right, next up we have this silver tone there is a brand i think on this a symbol i don't know what it is banana republic is it br let me see let me look up close oh yeah it looks like the banana republic i believe it's a backwards b and then an r it's very nice um has this interesting pendant it's heavy like it's it's a nice weighty pendant it feels like a nice quality and it has like um, various length we have a circle we have two tassels we have a square and we have what appears to be a little whistle don't know if it is but it looks like a whistle with that little hole in it and then the chain has like little breaks in it where it has these other like little fancy links to break it up. Over here, you see it again. Let's put it on. You can see on the, the chain, you have these little 
there's one on each side the rest of the chain is the same as the rest just normal you just have these two segments to give it a little extra interest and then here is your pendant interesting kind of cool kind of neat all right we'll do this for six banana republic very pretty let me get a length very very pretty Very, 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 very pretty. <laughs> I'm amusing myself. All right, 14 inch drop. I do not see an extension. So it's just 14 inch drop. Plus, you know, then you have the, the length of this really cool pendant. Very nice, nice quality. What did I say? How much did I say? I think I said six. I don't remember. All right, $6. That all right, let's pull out some more. I'm trying to pull somewhat carefully because I did detangle and it you know it can become so like retangled so so easily if if you're not careful. Uh, Just kind of gently lifting. Uh, all right, let's just go with this for now. We have plenty here. All right, we have this um, pendant. It opens up. It's a locket. So I'm going to put this in the... Um, in another... I'm making a separate pendant craft lot so that's going to go into that one not into tonight's this i'll put into tonight's craft lot it's just a chain link bracelet you can hang charms on it beads whatever you like craft bag all right next up we have the letter b on a snake chain silver tone it looks brand new it's very shiny there's no wear I don't see a name. I don't see an extender. It's cute. So anybody wants a letter B, and get it right here for three bucks. Okay. Three buckaroonies on the letter B. Eight and a half inch drop. Number nine is the letter B for three buckaroonies. All right. Next up, oh, next up, we have, let's look at this one, kind of another type of a, several tiers here. Let me get this figured out. All right, you guys, it's still a little tangly, but there's, this is the top part goes around the neck and then there's several tiers here I'm gonna just gonna show it against the black just to give you an idea um, but it's kind of long to, sh to sh really there it's kind of like that three tiers right. show it on here a little better maybe all right it's gold tone we have textured rings, little chain, little open link chain. Let me see a length on this. It's a pretty nice piece. I don't see a brand either on this. Most of this lot has been unbranded. There's been some Chico's and a brand here and there, but most of them have been really nice um, pieces, but unbranded. <clears throat> All right, let me give you the, the drop length on this. It has a 14-inch drop, and there's no extension. All right. We'll do this for $8. It's really nice. 
Eight buckaronis. Number ten. Eight dollars. So I just want to let you guys know um, that the earring bags, there wasn't many. We only did about five of them or so in the last video, but they all went. So I'm going to keep going with that as a way to sell the earrings. Because I just think it's more efficient to put several pairs in a lot. Um, all right, so that's um, number 10, $8. So we're going to do more of that. And then I'm also going to be doing like little clearance bags like that too, where I'm going to do like several bracelets together, several necklaces. All right, next up we have a gold tone bracelet. And I'm also going to start bringing out the um, the jewelry jars. Which is a great way to get a lot of jewelry for a great price. All right, seven and three quarters, and there's another maybe two inch. This is very nice. It's in good shape. It's a little like a flat, like snake chain. Really nice shape. And then you have another <clears throat> two inches. We'll do this for four bucks, number 11. It's very nice four dollars next we have a little rope chain sort of kind of spring ring um it is magnetic let me just check for a name real quick yeah, i don't see any name on her but uh this would be cute for layering and it looks like that four bucks Probably gonna be nine inch. Eight and three quarter. Piece number twelve, four dollars. Next up we have a um somewhat chunkyish wide. Not sure what type of chain you'd call that, but it's in great shape. It's a silver tone chain, lobster clasp. No name, very lightly magnetic. And that's what it looks like. Looks like a 22 inch probably, let me see. Yeah, 11, almost a 12 inch drop. 24 inch, we're gonna do this for five. Number 13, five dollars. What I'm doing is quickly turning off the camera while I bag it, just so as not to make the video longer than it has to be. This has a brand, let me just see. Steve Madden. Kind of asymmetric type, somewhat little medium chunky chain. Steve Madden. That's the other side. I'm not sure why this has like a textured back to it, but this is the back of it so it can't really hang any other way I don't know I'm not clear on that but branded nice shape no flaws looks good we'll do eight on this Steve Madden eight dollars piece number 14 let's get a measure there is an extension so let's do from the shortest first to the longest it's hard to get the exact drop when you have this pendant that takes up some space so it's seven and a half and then you've got about three inch let's see seven and a half and then an additional two inch so seven and a half to nine and a half inch drop eight buckaroonies on the steve madden I think that's what I said. 
I don't remember. <laughs> if I said 12, oh well, you're getting it for 8 now. I don't, I don't remember what the heck I said. Uh, all right. Steve Madden. Next. Let's pull some more out. We've got some silver tone, really shiny necklace, texture links that we have a brand. We have a C, it's Charming Chuckaroonie again, Charming Charlie. Let's put her on. Definitely can be doubled for Charming Charlie. Definitely can be doubled. It's long. Let's get a measurement on this guy. I'm going to give you the shortest first and then the length if you use the extension. The drop is 15 inch. That's 30 inches without the extension and then another three. 30 to 33 inch. Charming Charlie. We're going to do that for eight bucks. Eight buckaroonies. Oh, goodness. Turn this off a sec. All right, next up we have a little delicate gold tone chain with a cross in a circle. Magnetic spring ring. No brand. Oh, there might be something there. Hang on, hang on. It has a little, it looks like initials, N8 or W8, I don't know, has some little initials in like a little sideways triangle. At any rate, let's put it on. I don't see anything on the pendant as far as a name. A little religious piece there. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Great shape. Tiny little crystals in the circle around the cross. We'll do this for five. It's number 16 for five. Very nice. Get you a measurement. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Even the chain. You see how sparkly the chain is? Like it has those little tiny cuts in it that give it that sparkle. Very nice. Seven and a half inch drop and the pendant is that big. About half inch, a little more than half an inch, I guess. Not very good at fractions. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. <clears throat> All right, so that's piece number 16 across for five. And I have this over here. This is, um, oh, nose. Looks like it got tangled up again. Wait, it's a three tier. Here we go, here we go. It's a three tier silver tone. Um, it has that double lobster clasp going on I don't know what that means if there's like another way you can wear it I'm not really sure um, I don't know but let me put it on this is what it looks like three tier or layered the layered look it's a little little tangly but this is very nice. Perfect condition, no tarnish, no wear, no nothing. I just don't know what this situation is. I just hooked it to the ring. There's, you can change the length, obviously, because there's extension here, and then there's a separate extension here. So I don't know if there's like another way to wear it. If anybody has any idea, I've seen this on other pieces and I, I don't understand the need for two clasps. 
I, I don't know why they do that. All I can think of is there might be another way to wear it. Um, all right, so the, the lowest one, is, the shortest one is a six inch drop, and then you, you can, there's the one extension of two inches, and then if you want it longer, you have all of this, I guess. I don't know. All right, it's very pretty, $8.00. Number 17, eight buckaroonies. Very, very pretty, that layered look, I love that. All right. Now, let's get to number 18. What do we got here? A little chain, a little star. Just a little silver tone, a star. A little chain. It's cute. It's cute. This also would be a great piece for doing a layered look. We'll do three bucks on the little star. Perfect shape. Let's go from the shortest to the longest. It does have an extension. We have a, an eight inch drop and then another two inches. So eight to 10 inch drop, three bucks on the little silver star. Number 18. Three buckaroonies. All right, let's do number 19. I gotta pull a few more out here. Hopefully, and they won't get tangled. Retangled again. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have an owl here. All right. This will give us. Well, we're only gonna do two more pieces because then we got to get into our earrings. So let me just pick out two. This is. That's pretty. Another silver bracelet. We have more bracelets, but um. Again, these will have to go into the next the next video. We'll just start mingling in a couple of pieces with the with the new bag because I do still have more of this lot. Don't forget, it was 25 pounds, I think, or 20, 24 pounds, something like that. This is like a, a bib or statement, but it's broken. Um, I'll put it into craft. These pieces can be used. All right, <clears throat> let's do piece number 19 as our owl here. There's another chain that got looped in. <laughs> it's our owl. Urf. There we go, that's out. So we have kind of a, a thick, kind of a rope style chain here. Spring ring um, closure. Let's just check. Yep, magnetic. I'll just make sure there's a name. I don't see a name. Look at this big old owl. How cute. Look at his eyes, you guys. He has little rhinestone eyes. And these articulated moving parts. Let's put it on. He is a cutie. Look at this big owl this is really really super cute rhinestone eyes let's measure him oh. hang on hang on hang on the owl itself is four and a half inch Measure the chain. There's no extension, so it's going to be one length. It's 11 inch. Let's do 10 buckaroonies. This is cute. Really cute. It's a big size. It's got nice rhinestone eyeballs. Articulated owl. Super, super cute. $10 for number 19 on our owl. 
All right, guys, I'm going to pick one more piece for number 20, and then we're going to do our earrings, okay? Um, this is a little gold tone, kind of doily, little medallion shape type. Very pretty. I like it. It's like an antique gold tone, almost more of a bronze, leaning into a bronze tone a little bit. Let me put it on its shortest. And let's put her on. This obviously would be very short. Like a choker. Let's put it on the longer length. Because this would be too short. Let me just see real quick. That's a 5 inch drop. That's 10 inch. Come on. Come on. That's too short. Let's put it on the longest. And let's see what we got here. All right, it's very pretty. Really like a dark gold tone, slightly bronzish. Very, very pretty. Let me see how long with the extender on. You'd ha really have to have the extender on it. Unless you had a 10 inch neck. <laughs> Alright, it's a 7 inch drop, so this is going to be at the base of the neck. And we'll do $8 on that. A little pretty tax on that baby. 8 buckaroonies. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, now we're going to get into our earrings, so let me get that. All right, so um, we still have some left of this, and I still have that clump to untangle. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to start, um, you know, the new bag that I showed you guys in the last quick video. We're going to open that, and then I'll just integrate a couple of these pieces in each video just to keep getting them up. But I personally am ready to move on to the next bag, okay? I've enjoyed this a uh, lot, but um, I need to get some color in my life, too. But we, we still will um, do the rest of these as well. All right, and these are the earring bags, and this is going to be part, um, I think, part eight. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's part eight, you guys. So um, once again, just put that, and when you email me, just put that in your title, 24 pound part eight. And then in your in the body of your email, you let me know what number bags you want, okay? These are the earrings. Each number has the letter E after it. Please make sure you include that in your request that it has the E on it so that we don't get it mixed up with the other numbers. All right, so let's start our earring bags number six e number six e all right so we have uh some tangled up earrings <laughs> all right we have these little um i have them taped back here that's why they're hanging a little weird just a little plastic stone, like a burgundy color. That's number one. We have these. Kind of a tri or two color, like a the brown and the gold tone. And it has a little stone in the middle there, a clear faceted stone. I think they're plastic. So that's number two. Number three is this this stone with a little wire wrapping around it, black wire wrap. That's pair number three. Pair number four is a mother of pearl look. I believe they're not really mother of pearl. It feels plasticky. Little cluster dangles that's number four and then number five 
is this little faux pearl and gold tone and little like a rust or a light brownish colored plastic stone all right so one two three four and five these are kind of cool one, two, three, four, five. So that's bag number six E, five dollars. All of the earring bags are five dollars. Right, so that's six E. Lots of like um, brownish tones in there. Okay. Six E. Seven E. This is pierced. What is that on the bottom? It looked like there was, I don't know what that is. Hmm. I just saw that. It's a pierced earring, but what's this? I think it might've had something hanging from it at some point. Cause there's another clip down here. At any rate, um, that's what we have. I don't know. That's weird. I just noticed that. Oops. Oop, 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 oop. I just dropped one. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so we have these. Um, I'm not sure what that second clip is for. But all I can imagine is there was another piece hanging from it. But these still look good like that. It's like a smoky bluish, dark bluish gray stone. More like a gray, I think. That's pair number one. These hoops are pair number two. With like little stones. Little black and clear stones or just little clear. Let me see what the loop de do yeah it's just twisted clear stones that's pair number two pair number three these are very lightweight articulated in like a gunmetal tone pair number three pair number four is a twisted kind of gunmetal maybe slightly darker than gunmetal twist these are all pierced by the way i do have one bag of clip-ons we will get to that as well um, and this is pair number five it's a clear stone on top and then three smoky colored gray stones in silver tone okay so this is lot number 7e I'm gonna bag it up and turn the camera back on all right 7e kind of gunmetal tones and smoky stones kind of tried to theme them a little bit you know in similar colors this is bag number 8e bag number 8e and these may be familiar because I've probably had a lot of these up uh, in lots. I don't know. Some of them I have. Some of them I haven't. A little Charming Charlie dangle peachy pink kind of color plastic faceted stone. Pair number one. Pair number two are these pink and rhinestone studs. Kind of squarish. Pair number two. Pair number three are the silver tone hoops with the pinkish AB stones. Pair number four are these little huggies. They look sterling. They're not. I have tested them. They're not sterling, but they have that little peach square stone. 
little huggies. That's pair number four. And pair number five are these long um, peach pink, more of a pink than a peach dangles. Very sparkly. I believe these are glass. Very sparkly. I don't have the Presidian hooked up today, but I will hook it up for the next video because I don't know what's in the bag. Like this was all, <clears throat> uh, this past 24 pounder was all silver and gold tone, really not much stones, but um, I wasn't really thinking about it with the earrings. Um, I didn't test for glass or plastic because it's just low price. Um, and I can pretty much tell uh, for the most part, but we'll get the Presidian hooked up for the next lot, okay? Because who knows what we'll find. So that's bag number 8E. Bag number 9E. 9E. We have <clears throat> like a dark, I don't know, like an off black seed bead tassel dangle earring that's number one number two is the hoop with the um little design like a little like a drop hoop all right that's pair number two Pair number three is this greenish color square with the um, rhinestones. And I have the little rubber backs on any of them that didn't have backings. Obviously, you can put your own on. And we have this greenish with silver tone dangles. And we have these little studs. They look to be some kind of genuine stone. I am not sure what. But they're like a mossy green color. Little ovals. All right, so this is uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's the five. I'm not sure where I got this <laughs> from because I think this is a little slightly out of theme. But um, we have these one two three four and five so that is bag 9e 10e <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me guys so sorry so sorry <clears throat> 10e we have a little silver tone with a glass stone in there, a little faceted glass stone. We have a little, um, uh, I don't know how I would describe it, but yeah, I guess gunmetal cluster. Number two. We have another gunmetal with a purple stone. Feels like glass to me. Gunmetal dangle with purple stone. We have a little sparkly stud purple stone. Also feels like glass to me. And we have these. Just drop it. Just drop it, Marie, you know. There we go. These guys. So, let's put these on our board and take another look, okay? No sense putting, you know, both on. Just want to give you guys an idea. Number one, number two, number three, number four. <clears throat> Number five is the stud. All right, purple, like a light purple, lavenderish, pinkish stud. 
That's your five pairs for bag number 10E. All right, 11E. Bag number 11E. We got these cool little, um, it's a little like hoop here with this dangling. And we have these gorgeous, one of my faves, this one. With a light yellow and dangle there. We have these gold tone and rhinestone, or like kind of more like a druzy chip in there. Pretty, pretty. We have a enamel, kind of a little shimmery yellow, light pale yellow shimmer, maple leaf. Gold tone. Come on, earring. There we go. Thank you. And then we have another stud. We have like a yellow sparkly. I believe these are plastic. Sparkly yellow stud. That's your five pairs. These obviously hang really pretty. Okay, that's bag number 11E. All right, 11E. Bag 12E. Pair number one, these are really cool. Pair number two, we have gold tone and cream colored enamel flower. Pair number three is the little lion's head with the movable little door knocker. No brand on them. But they remind me of, um, what do you call it? Who's got the lion? Anne Klein? Anne Klein. But they're not, they're not branded. I'm just saying that's what it reminded me of when I saw them. Uh, so that's pair number three. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, pair number four are these sparkly little gold tone hoops. Number four. And number five. Obviously, you guys, I'm just putting one up on the board. They're all in good shape. I think these had a little smudge or flaw or something on one of them, but nothing drastic. This is pair number five. It's like a matted gold tone. All right, so there's your five. And this is bag number 12E. Bag number 13E. Number 13E. We have a blue-ish and silver tone, a little dangle hoop. <clears throat> silver tone, dangle, number two. Number three is a long blue and purplish and green, real pretty colors in these. That's number three. 
Number four is another kind of kind of a teardrop shape with a little enamel flower, raised enamel flower. Very pretty with a ruffled ed scalloped edge. Those are real nice. Four. And number five is a lever back cluster earring. Like with an AB finish, a bluish color. So let me show you this, okay? One, two, three. I'm going to try to get this hanging a little. Four and five. And that's bag number 13E. I just want to mention, guys, um, I always suggest having your email program open and have an open email with my address in it because it's first come first serve and um you know i just take them in order of of receipt on the emails and i just work my way the first the first one from the bottom because that's how they come the new one is always on the top so i start from the bottom and just work my way up and um whoever wants it first is who gets it so have an email open and ready because Sometimes you lose out by only a minute or two. All right, so this is bag number 14E. Eventually, I'm going to do auctions, too. Like, when I get even more subscribers, I'll do live auctions and stuff like that. Um, but for now, this is what we're doing. Um, number one, sunflower. Like a, I don't know. I don't know what that material is. Like a resin, I guess. Number two. Sparkly yellow acrylic stone stud. Number three. Are these little gold tone and sparkly um, little dangles. Number four is another dangle style on a chain like that. Very cool. I like these. Number five. Gold tone flower. Just look at these under the loop for a second. Oh, they're little, um, looks like they're little like roses, little clustered roses in the shape of a flower. And that's number five. So this is bag number e, uh, 14E. One, two, three, four, and five. And it looks like these are almost little clovers on there. Not sure. Okay, that's your five pair for 14E. All right, guys, number 15E. We have one more after this. Okay, so we're almost done. We get these... Big ol' chandelier, silver tone black. We get these hoops, um, like a matted silver tone. We get a sparkly glass. I think it's glass, feels like glass. I really should have presidium these, but I didn't. Feels like glass. And we get these dangles. Like a um, gunmetal and then silver tone. Number four. And then we get these. This is number five. So bag number 15E. Okay. 
Dangly's silver tone matted little kind of half hoop thing, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what style you call that. It's hollow in the back. And then your stud. These guys articulated, it moves, and this. There's your five for bag number 15E. And 16E, this is our clip-ons. Clip-ons and screw backs, and some of them are clip and the screw, so you can like really refine the exact tightness that you want. Um, we have a wide silver tone. Um, this is, what the heck? Oh, okay, there we go. Mm, I wonder if that's wonky. No, that's good, okay. I thought it was wonky because of the screw was all the way tightened, but. So it has the clip and then you can screw it to make it tighter. I think that's fine. That's your first pair. Let me just check the other one to make sure we're good. Yeah, yeah, but see, it doesn't go all the way, which I guess is normal because your earlobe would be in the, but then you have this. You can screw it to whatever tightness. Okay, that's pair number one. Pair number two is a silver tone with a dark green. Pair number three, gold tone hoops, also with that same um, type of closure that has the screw back that you can um, refine it to exactly how tight or loose you want it. Gold tone with creamy enamel. We have a straight up clip on. A little wear on the back, nothing extreme. The front looks really good. Just want to check the clip. Make sure it works good. Yep. Uh, cream color enamel. That's a dogwood flower. I just want to make sure all my clips are good. Pretty sure I checked, but yep. It's the other dogwood. And then we have these um, little hoops. I'm not sure if you'd call that filigree necessarily, um, but it's has a cutout design. Okay, and those are the five. So you have the wide silver hoop, the cream and gold tone this nice uh gold tone cut out with it it's lightweight these are super pretty the flower and then you have the other silver tone in there so you got a little mix of gold and silver tone with the green stripe all right and that is our final bag that is number 16 e they're all clip on. And that is your five pair. All right, so in wrapping this up, what we're gonna do on the next one is we're going to open the new bag, which I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I did have it out the other day, but let me grab it again real quick. This is it. It's a seven pounder, 7.4 pounder. Um, and we're gonna open this baby up in the next video. Okay, so we're gonna be open this up. We're also going to integrate a little, a couple pieces at a time, the rest of the gold and silver, because we got some nice stuff yet here. It just was such a huge lot, and it gets a little boring doing the same thing every day. This is Sarah Cove. We're going to finish this up, and I still have the Tangled 
um, stuff that I'm going to work on untangling. So little by little, we'll work these pieces into our videos, okay? But we're going to be getting into some color. I also want to explore some um, jewelry jars with you guys. I'm going to start offering these. And let me know if you want to go over these and know what's in them, or if you want like a mystery jar. Uh, let me know what you think of that, okay? I'm going to be making some jars like this as well. So we're going to be getting into a lot of good stuff. Thanks so much for being patient with me this week. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your kind comments. I really appreciate it. I, I genuinely do. Um, it keeps me going. Um, so I will see you guys soon in the next one. And um, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night. Take care.